Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're doing another scan and cut project. Last week I took a poll and asked if you wanted to see a butterfly cutout card or the cork notebook cover and the cork notebook cover got the popular vote. So let's go to Canvas Workspace for Brother and start our project. All right guys, now we are on Canvas Workspace. So we're gonna go look through the designs here. And today we are going to make that cork notebook cover. So here it is. I'm gonna click that. And here are our components. So we are going to go ahead and download the parts. So I'm gonna transfer it to my PC. Alright, so now we have the template. We are ready to transfer it to our scan and cut. So I go to File. We're going to select Export Transfer. And we are going to do it via internet, so wirelessly. So it's been transferred. Let's go to our machine and start cutting. Alright guys, we're here at our machine. And I've just placed my paper. Now I uh, ordered some cork fabric. On Amazon, it didn't quite make it on time, so I'm going to use some paper today. And we're going to load our paper first. I'm going to press the feed button here. I'm just pressing that down. Now that that's loaded, we are ready to do our next step, which is to do the cutting. Alright, so we are going to retrieve our file. And we're going to take it from our computer. So now that it's loaded the template, we are going to select OK, select, and time to cut. We're going to press start. Now that the cutting is complete, we shall Pick OK, and I'm going to press the Home button, and it says OK to delete all patterns. Say OK, and press the Feed Unloading button. Next step is to pull off our paper off our mat, and here is our cut. It cut perfectly, and we have those we can use as leave accents if you want to use it for future projects. So let's go to the next step. Now, um, there was a second pattern showing a plain sheet without cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that to my scan and cut. So we'll have a more accurate cut. And also over here, there are a couple notches. So this will fold into a little pocket for our cover. So we'll look at that in just a few. All right, so I have my file ready. We have our little template here, and I am going with a denim colored pattern paper. I, let's see, select, and we will cut. And press start. All right, guys, so it cut it in less than a minute, I'm just going to unload it. And now for the reveal. Here is our paper. So there are a couple notches again, and that's where our score lines will be for our pocket. So now that we have the front and back cover ready, the next piece of paper I need to find is to put something underneath our front cover. And let me pull out some pattern paper and let's see what works best. Alright guys, so we have our front cover and I pulled some of the uh, pattern paper to test out and see what looks best. So I have one with the stars, just pulling out the colors of the denim, but I don't think that looks good. Behind that, we'll try this floral scrapbook paper. I love that it's so colorful. 
but let's keep trying. Now I'm looking for something too that's double-sided. Once I put the front and back cover together, like here's one, it's a double-sided sheet. And so once these are together, you wanna be able to have something inside. So we'll see, this is a contender, possibly. I also have this one that's just a plain uh, sheet that has a linen texture to it. And this is what that looks like. Not bad, I like that mint color against the cork. And um, last one is we have this uh, stationary sheet, it's also double-sided. So in the Brothers Scan and Cut little tutorial video that they had for the paper that they used in the background, it kind of had a gradient look or ombre look like this one. So what do you think, guys, against the denim there? I think that might work. And then we'll just add another piece of paper to complete this side. We'll see how that all looks. But I'm kind of leaning towards this color. I just love that it has different shades of colors. So maybe we'll go with that. So now I'm going to put this together. I'm going to stitch these and uh, adhere our paper. And we'll have a look and see what this cover looks like. All right guys, so here is our completed cover. And I couldn't find a notebook that had the same size. Just kept it very minimal in terms of decorating the cover. We have this beautiful paper in the background and used the Amy Tangerine Happy Together paper pack because it kind of had that uh, coloring. It says a sweet life. And then this is the cover, I mean the notebook that I'm putting in here just for a sample. But I'm actually creating a signature that will fit better. So it's like a 9x6 cover. So I'll just show you what this looks like in here. So here are our pockets. Stitch it, added some more of that Amy Tangerine uh, paper pad. And that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. Next week we will be making a paper luggage little container. I uh, hope you can join me again. Happy weekend. Thanks for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.